Hey, this is Trox. Um, today I'm going to show you how to connect the Clark Technic DN9650 network bridge to the Midas Pro 1 or any of the Midas Pro series desks. Um, Alright, let's get to it. Uh, here's the DN9650. And we'll go around the back. And you can see these AES 50 ports right here. Uh, down at the bottom are all red. So we're going to connect them one by one. Two, one. You can put them in any of the ports on the back here. Um, just you gotta kind of remember which one you use. And you'll see it turn green down here. And you can use any type of Cat5 cable. It doesn't have to be EtherCon. All right. Let's see, then we're going to need to go on the console and see where it says status up here. It's green, you click on that. And then you're going to pick in port 1. Scroll all the way down, generic AES 50. And then this one will do the same thing. And the third one, the same thing. Now, these didn't go green. And I don't know why, but Usually what I have to do is unplug these in order and then plug it back in. And you'll see it goes green. Now you'll see on the front, generic AES 50, they're all green. And when you switch to patching, they will show up 24 channels each in your AES 50 card. You're going to want to select all of them put them as your secondary input because then you can switch between your main input, your preamp, and your playback. So you can do a virtual sound check this way. So uh, one other thing I'll show you is I have um, I have the Matty card in my DN 9650. Uh, and then an RME, RME Matty Face USB as my interface. So, to connect that up, you just go down here, plug in these BNC cables into the network module. Here's the Matty Face USB. You see it's green on that side. Now if I plug these in correctly, they should be they should also go green. I might have done it backwards. More. Yep, there we go.
You can see the sink is flashing green now. And we are all connected. I uh, will probably do another video later on how to run the playback. But thanks for watching.